Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be showing you what I did in a typical week, but it actually is very close to the bone of being the past week. And it's now Friday and it has been, let me say, quite emotional as it is my son's final week of school. That's the culmination of 12 years of schooling coming to this point. I'm not too sure why I had such strong feelings of kind of a bittersweet and I'm really happy that he's going to be you know um, finding his own way out in the world after a period of examination and going to university and all that kind of stuff but I'm also just thinking that perhaps because you know after the breakup I really poured my love into my children and um, when one is about to kind of fly the coop and we know that his generation will probably not be flying the coop anytime soon. That's the Z generation or the Generation Z. Um, they tend to say. So while my son might not be flying the coop so quickly as I make out, I do have a sense of sadness that his schooling is nearly over. Parenting is difficult and it has been challenging but I have been very blessed with my son and my daughter as well um, they're both very different but they're both growing up and I just have to accept that there's a lovely little coffee shop just about 20 minutes walk from me where I like to go and inevitably I would buy its almond croissant. It's actually a rather substantial um, almond croissant so I could never eat it in one sitting so I normally save it for afternoon tea. I'm now just brushing up on some leather goods that I found in my um, sort of makeshift um, storage room. By the way guys, aviator sunglasses, you must get a pair in your repertoire. Oh, how exciting. The wines from Xanadu, they have arrived. And I'm just stocking up for my little pre-Christmas collection. Heading out now to a friend's place uh, who has organized an annual cancer fundraiser and this is a pretty special event especially since we haven't had it for the last couple of years due to the pandemic but it is a well-loved tradition of gathering with friends to enjoy food and wine but also at some point in the night reflect about the disease of cancer how it has robbed us of many of our loved ones and then make a selection of the charities whom we would like to donate to it's a very private and anonymous donation um, but the point is that we are all together celebrating each other but also remembering those whom we have loved and have lost it's a wonderful event and i'm very grateful to my friend there she is <laughs> for putting it up and um and making this such a beautiful, meaningful annual tradition. Long may this continue. And then when most of our friends have departed back to their families, I discovered my friend's famous bar. I mean, I think she was pretty serious about drinking her way out of the pandemic. However, um, what I didn't realize was that amongst these millions of bottles was a very special bottle, which I'm very familiar with in my heyday, 
um, and I think you might know what it is but it's that color and here my friend is trying to demonstrate that although that particular spirit called the green fairy can absolutely knock you for six with elevated glassware and accessories you could make something quite shocking into something quite elegant as she tries to explain Sixty percent alcohol. Oh, scrapper sixty percent. Yeah, mate. Mate. Also keep your eyes. That's it. Well, I'm certainly not blessing the fleet tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that tastes like the dentist would like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's so strong. Yeah, Even no. you have that is so strong. So that's that is so strong. Honey, you're gonna be seductive. Come on, how sexy is that? Not. That's not sexy at all. What is sexy? Slow, slow. <laughs> Here you can see my friend trying to get more and more creative as the evening rolls on. She has, um, as you can see, um, I don't know what she's trying to do, but getting us all very drunk. But that is actually, I think, whiskey. Uh, into a glass that has been um, tainted with the green that fairy. Minty, yeah. yeah, it's um, a minty taste. Yeah. That allows me to drink it. Yeah. That is it's so strong. strong. Finally, something that I could totally remember is this fig gin. What a wonderful night that was. The next night, I went to a milestone birthday party for another friend of mine, dressed to the nines, well, sort of. With the tram. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh, I love that painting. With the dead chicken. What a beautiful spot so edgy and lovely and pretty and trendy all rolled into one and with lovely views out into St Kilda as well. My friend is truly a trend setter. Good morning, it's the start of another week. Heading off now to work. This is actually a work lunch, so don't judge me. Heading into another work day. I normally work from home, but this week we seem to be needing to go in a quite a bit. But whilst in the city, I visit some of my favorite places and then had dinner with a former colleague of mine. The day is cold and dark and dreary. It rains and the wind is never weary. The vine still clings to the mouldering wall, but at every gust the dead leaves fall, and the day is dark and dreary. My life is cold and dark and dreary, it rains and the wind is never weary. My thoughts still cling to the mouldering past, but the hopes of youth fall thick in the blast, and the days are dark and dreary. Be still, sad heart and cease repining. Behind the clouds is the sun still shining. Thy fate is the common fate of all. Into each life some rain must fall. 
Some days must be dark and dreary. Good morning, how are you? Good, thanks. Could I have... And here it is, a moment of reckoning, packing in his last lunchbox for his school life. I struggled a bit, but I did find some words to write to him to wish him all the best. Well, that's it from me for another week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see some more. It's been really lovely to have you tune in and support this channel. If you have some time, please think about donating to a cancer charity of your choice. They really need our support. Wishing my son a safe passage out into the world as he completes his final days of high school. Bye for now.